dangerous no flying saucer. This is uh, our test here with the with the P10, the 10 pole, <coughs> uh, 10 pairs, and 20 coils. It is also I want this uh, <coughs> all north with the new type of winding where we have all the the pairs uh, clockwise. Wow, and. We have to realize now this motor here it's not doesn't do the radical changes that the small radio shack does. This one takes its time to climb and time to go down. And it's due that the number of coils is greater. I mean that little radio shack it's very small compared to this, not only in, in, in coil size but also in number of pairs. And and this is what we have to realize here, and this is the radio shack right there. So, <clears throat> the capacitance of each coil or each pair and the 20 coils in total is uh, retains longer the power and it gets rid of it uh, slower, which is convenient for us because we got energy rotating, doing all the mechanical action in there for us, which is a motor is for. Um, normally, at low speeds, it's almost not noticeable. I have to take it to peak top on the on the power source. This motor runs around somewhere around 4,800 4, RPMs max on this power source. It can go higher though, but this power source is 19 volt, 3 amps. Uh, that's what it's rated for. and. Let's do this test. The way I have it hooked here is I have the positive here from the power source, the negative here on the two Todd terminals, and I'm also doing the, the rear junction. Now, these, these motors actually run better than the, the south-north coils with the rear junction on. They, they, it seems that they stabilize the power better, the, 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 the way the smoother running and uh, very much lower amp draw. So let's start turning it, warm it up, and turn on this. I put this little button here to leave it stable there. And it will give us the reading right there. And I hope there's not much, much vibration. So I got, this is the negative cable that goes into the bulb. And I, by touching it here, I make it go on. And you can hear that uh, that it's almost not noticeable. The drop of the, the not the drop, the the, the change on on the speed. See, it's almost the dropping of speed is not much and actually sometimes after you disconnect the bulb it goes higher so it gives you all kind of weird readings why because you you are hooking the system uh, you know to us to a to a certain amount of load so you disconnect it and it keeps on retaining the power just like a capacitor re retains its power after you turn off any supply it'll stay on for a little bit the same thing here um, so we're gonna go higher and we're gonna go to actually we're gonna go top speed which is the max of the power source on both parameters on amps and volts. Wanna make sure that we read everything here. So now it's 49 
4900. <clears throat> 49, 24, 28, 30. So, we're gonna hook this bulb and watch the amperage, 183. So, about went up like at one amp, and it went up 49, 58, 60. So, somewhere in there. So, it'll stay, remain there. Now I'm gonna hook the power. It, went, it dropped down um, automatically to 4,800, you saw it now, 40, 49, it, it went up. And now it's trying to, to stabilize in there. 4,960, remember it was 4,980, 90, with the bow bomb. So it went maybe 10, 10 RPMs or so. But then again, it fluctuates. It's not a steady curve, and it's not drastic up, uh, you know, stiff up or stiff down like the Radio Shack did. It's this fluctuation, smoothness. Now, it's 49.88, 49.90. It keeps coming higher now. So, what I do is simple. I, I put up a, a force here. It comes down, ouch, burn my fingers. 49, 43, I brought it down because I put some force in there. I don't have a wood nearby. 49, 71, 81, 83, it's gaining again. Anyways, this is, it dropped down, but it's coming up again. 98, 5,000. See that? So it's going over 5,000, and the power source didn't do that. You know, now it kept going. It's at 5,008. 16, and it keeps going up. Now, what demonstrates this is that by putting a load on the motor, it demands more. So you hook it up, you get it higher. And this is the way a motor is supposed to be running like that with the load, with the mechanical load and uh, the generating part is also working here. So right now you can see it's fluctuating in 5,010. Uh, so I'm gonna unhook this and drop down again to 4,900. All right, now I want to just do a, a test here for some comments on, on my YouTube channel. And that they, they were stating that uh, the power source put some, the extra power on my previous video on the FIPO. You know, put the extra half watt or half amp to, uh, be able to light up the bulb and speed up the motor and I want to demonstrate with the same power source that it doesn't it doesn't do it uh, simple test it's just a matter of hooking the bulb it's already hooked up to the power uh, to the positive and I'm gonna be hooking just here to the power source negative so we're gonna be fitting the bulb and the motor in parallel to the power source and I'm gonna take it to the max first I'm gonna let the motor go all the way to the max and yeah so here is normally where I've been doing the test Put it here. Okay, goes over by a few milliamps, and but if I put it right here, the motor collapses and. The bulb gets brighter, 
course. Uh, so the point is, it's not even worth to measure the reading here, the motor, the motor of the RPM reading. I mean, you can hear it how it slows down, and the amps raises sky high. See, these, these power source have a compensation, like uh, almost anyone. That you know, if it goes higher on on voltage on amperage, it automatically reduces the the voltage just to keep the same power up. So now I'm gonna do it in parallel in series, just to take off all the doubts. And on on, on series, it, the motor will run and the light will will will. The bulb will light up, light, lit up, but the motor will never reach the RPMs that it normally does when we are taking. See, this is uh, sorry. So it's poor lighting and the RPMs are 2600 and again you know the power source is at max so 2600 so we saw it getting at 5000 rpms with the other way uh, of connecting thanks Thank you.